love to tell you a story about a time that we made the customer a hero at Active Campaign. It was a normal day in the office, it was kind of buzzing, there were conversations happening, and then a woman appeared at the door with a pile of papers and a bag. And when I asked her, How can we help you? she said, I'm here to buy Active Campaign. The way we're built, the way our sales processes are kind of structured, is to do these types of engagements you know, over the phone or, or online. Nobody was really sure what to do. So we did what any active campaigner would do. We took her downstairs to the sales floor. And rather than like turning her away and telling her like, hey, go to activecampaign.com. You can, you know, figure out the plan that you want on your own. They were really, really awesome and welcomed her into a, a conference room, <clears throat> opened up their computer, walked her through all the plans, talked to her about her business plans. We ended up getting her signed up for an active campaign account that day. She was just starting her business and, you know, um, we treated her like she was one of our biggest prospects and our customers coming to our doors. And I think this really speaks to why uh, Active Campaign is so special, that regardless of like any customer size and any stage of business that they're in, we treat them all equally and we treat them with kindness and respect. So that day was really exciting to see the team come together and make the customer a hero. Hi, my name is Shiv. I am a customer training specialist and I know here at Active Campaign that we start with trust. I am Gail and the VP of Product Strategy at Active Campaign. Previous to this role, I was the first customer success manager. I actually originally was hired four years ago for the support team, I was a product specialist. Before I was the multimedia content manager, I was a content marketing specialist. Head of customer success. Eventually moving to marketing. I was an SDR on Dathan Brown's team. Solutions architect. Shout out Team Zulu. And principal product manager. And then now I'm on the uh, team that manages the marketing site. So it's been kind of a crazy career path that I don't think would have been possible at any other company, <laughs> for sure. I always had an interest in kind of taking my career the marketing route. It wasn't really an option until I saw a job posting on the Active Campaign website for a content marketing specialist. Throughout the entire process, I was just blown away by how much trust Active Campaign, uh, the members of Active Campaign, showed in me. Um, and just in the process. And it was just really apparent to me that, you know, that's that's the kind of place that Active Campaign is. We trust the individual, not just the job title. And I've seen it across now three different departments from education success and, and sales across multiple roles, whether it was, you know, Adam Tuttle, it was Jared, you know, it, it's, you know, been Callie, it's Courtney right now. It's always been, tell me about your week and, and what are you passionate to accomplish? You know, there's a lot of just trusting each other when you are moving into new areas of influence and responsibilities. So it's been great in each of these roles to really be able to sort of make an impact, move quickly, mess up a few things, um, and know that my colleagues are, are there, the company has my back, I have my company's back. Um, and so it's been really rewarding in that way. Hi. I'm Reem, the head of DEI. I am Louis, customer onboarding specialist in Brazil. And I cultivate diversity and inclusion. To hear that there was a pride ERG identifying as gay, I really wanted to know what this was about. Um, and once I started kind of attending the meetings and realizing that there is a space that Active Campaign is creating, hearing kind of the same struggles that they've gone through in life, really made going to work feel more like a community. The goal is for us to learn about each other's perspectives, learn about each person's journey, experience, and challenges so we can truly build an inclusive culture. To have this DEI team, it's, it's uh, an amazing thing to discuss differences, to discuss things that matter as human beings, you know? I've been incredibly grateful for this company, our growth, especially during a time when so many people aren't as fortunate. And it's, it's really humbling because we are able to use our, our resources, our funds, and, and give back to organizations that we think make a difference. And when I think about cultivating inclusion and diversity, of course I think about the events of this year, especially the ones following George, George Floyd's death earlier this summer. There were a lot of hard conversations happening, um, not just 
in our U.S. office, but around the world. Working on the people team, there were a number of different times where I talked to candidates and within the first five minutes, they flat out asked me, you know, what is Active Campaign's commitment to DEI? And instead of it just being a situation where maybe employees are talking about it on Slack or, you know, sending emails, to each other, like recommending resources. The company really stepped up. They facilitated trainings, they matched donations. Our DEI lead organized um, a couple of helpful discussions, kind of small group conversations. So I, I think these are some um, tough questions to kind of ponder and to, to share, but um, it was, I think it was exactly what I, I needed to, to think through. Active Campaign has always made me really proud because of the heart and the caring that everybody shows, not just for each other, but for the world at large. Hi, I'm Russ, the manager of, of Site Reliability Engineering. I'm Sally, a product support specialist. And I know that we iterate everything always. 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 Always at Active Campaign. The onboarding team did a phenomenal job of moving from a physical onboarding to 100% virtual. Everyone involved with onboarding, special shout out to Alex, Trinity, Adrian, Zach, and everyone on the support team who's made me feel so welcome. Staying at home has been, I would say it's, it's been great. It has given us the opportunity to realize that we need each other, we need to uh, rely on each other and I think it has reinforced the whole um, purpose of teamwork. It's been great to see so many people uh, at Active Campaign embrace working remotely. They offered me the option to work from Spain uh, even though usually you need to work from Dublin. I couldn't be more grateful for that because this allowed me to be all these like difficult times with my family instead of uh, having to move on a like hard time uh, alone so yeah I, I I really have to thank everybody in the in the company for that fundamentally speaking you were talking about unprecedented times and, and no company is going to get everything right but it's important to move quickly um, and to do right by your employees and when I think about that I think active campaign did that very well my name is Mitchell Bena I'm a CX coordinator and I know we pursue growth with gratitude at active campaign Active Campaign has partnered with the Best Buddies organization for several years now. I first heard of Best Buddies back in 2019 when I was unemployed and I had a hard time trying to look for work. And with the help of Caitlin and Michelle, I was able to land a job here at Active Campaign. And I can't thank them enough for, for all their help and all their support because if it wasn't for them, I may still be looking for employment at this point. Hello, I'm Pam Wackman, and I am a Dean Facilities Coordinator. My involvement with Best Buddies is I am a job participant, and I am also on the uh, committee for the Fencer Block. And we also do Champion Dinner, which our own Amanda Gruber was a candidate for Champion of the Year. And also, there are so many great people to work with. I am proud to be an employee. Um, so it's a great company. Hey guys, my name is Emily and I am a product specialist coach in APEC and I know we create WOW at Active Campaign. About two years ago and had literally was take, taking a vacation away from Active Campaign and, and my grandparents passed away about 14 days from each other. A couple of years ago when I was uh, an SDR on Dathan Brownstein, I received a call to my personal cell phone uh, that informed me that a member of my family had suffered a heart attack. I had a last minute surgery come up. Basically, I found out three days before the surgery is supposed to happen. I didn't really know what to do, to be honest. So I hung up the phone and I walked over to Dathan's desk and I told him he was very compassionate and sympathetic about it all and he just told me, you know, get your stuff and, and go to the hospital. Just a response that I got back from whether it was, you know, Courtney Graham, um, who, who was a manager at the time, who, who I really leaned on during that time, or my coworkers who were so willing to pick up um, kind of the additional work that I was leaving them. My manager, Matt, he was so great. He just said, look, your health is much more important. Just do the surgery and we will work out whatever we need to work out here. Creating well. Definitely one way to do it is by being there um, for your employees, no matter what happens, no matter what they're going through. In August 2019, I was the victim 
of house fire. I woke up in a hospital, unsure of what had happened, and people came every day to visit and keep my spirits up, but also to tell me what was going on at work. A lot of people really adopted a synchronous decision making and note taking, you know, just because I wanted to be there, I wanted to be a part of the conversation, it just took so much. You know, I know that there's this whole thing about your company isn't your family, and don't say that we're one big family, but I felt so supported. It's been really great sort of recovering this year and still being able to, you know, make an impact at work. Thank you, everyone at Active Campaign, for being so understanding and so kind, and I'll be back in no time.